how to work smarter and not harder. Man, hey, God real, man. <clears throat> I'm doing this and I'm sick and I got a cold, man. Big Money Bound TV, RRT Posse, YouTube. If you're new to the channel, hey man, please like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Now, if you're returning, welcome back. RRT Posse, I got us. I appreciate the support. Now, today, what I'm doing is, like I say, leave a comment, say what video you want, ask for a video, suggest a video, and I got you. I'm doing this for the Posse. A subscriber named Amanda requested that I do a video call uh, describing um, how to work smarter but not harder as a respiratory therapist. Hey man, great suggestion, great question. Of course, I can create a video like that. Stay tuned. What we represent, man? Big money bag. Big money bag. Big money bag. Big money bag. First things first. When trying to work smarter and not harder as a respiratory therapist, what you want to do is when you get your assignment. You want to really break this stuff down. Okay, I got a total of 20 treatments. I got 10 on this floor, I got six on this floor, and I got four on this floor. How do I want to go about doing this? First things first, you want to address what treatments are due first. Normally you have eight o'clock treatments and 10 o'clock treatments for your first round. So whichever floor has the majority of eight o'clock treatments, that's the floor that you will want to attack. And being that you have 10 patients on one floor, Nine times out of 10, that's gonna be the floor with the most eight o'clock treatments that are due first. And now, when you, when you like doing your work shift, throughout the work shift, you start off with more energy than you finish with. So it's smarter to go from the floors that have the most treatments down to the least. Cause you don't wanna go from four to six and then the 10, you kinda lowering down the energy but you're doing more work. It's, you, you're doing like an up, you trying to ice skate uphill, you feel me? Instead of just, down slide, just it's all downhill sled, nice and easy. So that's what you want to do, man. And when giving your treatments, some of them do at eight, some of them do at ten. You want to do, you want to kill. Now don't don't contact Pete on me, but you want to kill two birds with one stone. This is a figure of speech. I love animals. I love birds, especially chicken. So what you want to do is you go into a room. It's a patient there. They got a treatment at 8 o'clock, and the roommate has a treatment at 10 o'clock. I'm right here. I don't want to leave, then come back at 10. Hopefully, I don't get busy and I can return back. Get an 8 o'clock treatment. Go to the roommate. Hello, sir. I'm here from respiratory therapy. You have a treatment due at 10, but I'm here now. Would you like it? Or would you like for me to come back later? Well, since you're here now, we can go ahead and do it. Cool. Patient requests treatment early. That's it. I'm gonna go to this room, leave out, go through these, and then come back over here and my head. You, you're gonna be zigzagging and your leg is gonna be shattered, man. You're gonna be tired as heck. So you don't broke down your assignment, you got that, you don't, you don't really broke that down, you don't chop, 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 chop. Now what you wanna do is, you wanna be proactive. What I mean is, you go and buy a patient room. You hear a patient that has a trait or not on a trait, unable to like bring up their own sputum, they got a weak cough. <clears throat> You can just hit a film vibrating in there, vibrating in there. Hey, man, the patient is doing okay, but if it stays like that, the sack's gonna drop, gonna have not be able to do airway protection. So what you wanna do is you wanna clear the patient's airway. You feel me? Just avoid, address that small problem and avoid a big problem from taking place. Another thing, patient on a non rebreather, sat at 90%. Hey man, this is not looking good. You see the patient kind of labored breathing. Well, I'ma kind of just wait. I'ma wait. I'ma I'ma flush it all up to 15. They had it on 12. I'ma flush it to 15, and hopefully he comes back around. If not, they'll call me. Nah, man. You see a patient like that going down. You can stop him from hitting the ground. Now, they finna hit the ground, but you can like catch them before they get there. Put them on BiPAP. Bring them on back. You wait. No BiPAP. Now we going to intubation. Now that's a bigger problem. Now this is taking up more of your time, and now you still gotta go out and do all your treatments. But if you address this, you spend 10 minutes here, it saves you from spending 30 to 35 minutes there. You feel me? Like, just be proactive, man. Solve the small problem before it turns into a big problem. Be a respiratory therapist, man. Be a respiratory therapist now. I'm finna give you some examples. Don't be like, oh, Randy, you being kind of mean. Ain't no, no, hey. You said how to work smarter, not harder. 
be a respiratory therapist. You go in a patient room. Ah, uh, can you um, can you give me the urinal? You thinking, all right, cool. I just gotta hand you the urinal. All right, hand him the urinal. Can you um, can you can you help can you, can you help me get in there? Hey, I'm gonna call you PCA, cause I'm smart. Well, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of new here. I can, I guess I can just help you get in there. You trying to help him now? Hey, you know what? I gotta do number two also. Can you put the bad pen up? See what you don't got? Now you went from handing somebody a urinal to trying to put the private part inside of urinal. So now you gotta put them on the bed pen. So now since you in here, can you just go ahead and wipe me? Now you you ain't need a respiratory therapist no more, man. I don't know I don't know what you doing though. You a jack of all trades. That's why, hey man, it may sound rude. It be like, hey, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get your PCA or your CNA. I'm gonna get somebody to help you out real quick. But this stuff will lead into small to big. Another example. Um, can you just um. Can you please just warm this food up for me real quick, please? Can you do it? Hey, man. I don't know your diet. I don't know if you're supposed to be eating right now. I'll go get you a PCA. I'll go get your nurse to help you out with that. Y'all be thinking, Randy, that's me. No, I'm just, you got proper staff. You got staff for this stuff. I'm the respiratory therapist. I got your treatment. I can't really warm up your food and your hamburgers. So you go ahead. I can warm it up for you. Sure, no problem. All right, cool. You end up warming it up. Warming it up. You can bring it back in there. Here you go, sir, ma'am. Oh, can you take off the lid for me? Cool. Oh, they gave me Salisbury steak. Can you cut that for me? Hey, you already here now. Hey, you already got, you already did this hole. You might as well just keep digging. Keep digging. Yeah, can you cut that in squares for me? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, cut it in squares. Squares. Squares, not rectangle squares. See, <laughs> bro, like, nah. Hey, just be a respiratory therapist, man. You're not the chef. You're not the PCA. You're not the nurse, man. Can you, can, you, can, you, can you have me some pain meds? Can you give me some pain meds? Can you give me some pain meds? You're going to say, nah, you're going to say, nah, let me get your nurse. But you can put me on a bed, pal. That ain't your job either. Hey, how to work smart and not hard. She asked, Amanda, I'm giving them what, I'm giving them what you asked for, Amanda. What you asked for, that's what I'm giving them. Hey, I don't know everything. I don't. And if I need help, hey, I, <laughs> I don't know everything. And if I need help, I'm not afraid to ask for it, man. That's the part of being smart. You can sit there, dang, the Ben is saying this. How do I fix this problem? Uh, I came across this one time in school. I remember, let me think, let me think, let me think. Shh, 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 patient, patient, come on, stop it. You can breathe, stop it. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. Not basketball, respiratory. No, basketball, no, respiratory, not basketball. Bro, call, call for help, man. Bro, call for help. You finna make a bad situation worse. You're trying to figure something out. Obviously, you don't know. Bro, just call for help. Don't be afraid to call for help, man. You need help? Bro, call for help. How do I set this up again? Come on. I passed my state board exam. I should know this. Come on. Call for help, man. Call your help, bro. Somebody at your job. Don't call me. I ain't at your job. Don't get on YouTube and drop a comment. Randy, how do you do this? Randy busy dog. Randy can't help you right now. So if you don't know something, just call for help. When calling for help, I want you to also be willing to help. Look at help as an investment. You see somebody got a lot of treatments and you're done. Okay, you know what? I'm going to help this person out with two or three treatments. That way next time if I have a busy night, they're going to feel obligated to help me because I helped them. You just put in a little investment. You just To get something out, you got to put some in. It's like Washington Mutual. Fidelity. <laughs> this is like the stock, the stock market. To get some out, you gotta put some in. So look at help as an investment. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. That's all. How to work smart and not hard now. This gonna sound a little bit like, hey, that's kinda shady, but hey. You wanna know how to work smart and not hard? Let's say during your 12 hour work shift, you at your business around 11 o'clock, 11.30. Around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, it's nice and breezy. So when would you take your lunch break being smart? Exactly, when it's busy as hell. When it's hella busy, I'm taking my lunch breaks. I'm working smart. I ain't nobody working hard. Hit up my phone, man. Anybody call, go take care of that. All you hear your phone is ring, 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 ring. Now come 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, you sitting down taking another break. Cause ain't nothing to do. 
how to work smart and not hard, man. Hey, Amanda, I'm giving you what you want now. This is what you asked for. All right, man. You know you got to push your carts around. You feel me? Everybody got to have a cart. Bro, I got, I, I got dust flying in with these hoodies, man. You got to push your cart around. You got three or four floors? Don't be lugging no cart around from that floor to this floor to that floor to this floor. You got four floors? Use two carts. One cart for these two floors, another cart for these two floors. I ain't gonna be pushing no cart around the whole house with a dragon and lugging and this and that. I'm tired before I get to the next floor. Just leave a cart on one floor, leave a cart on another floor, you just share them between the two floors, man. That's how you work smart and not hard. Now, if y'all got some other tips, some I missed, please drop them comments down below. RRT Posse, you know. Come on, get engaged with the conversation. Drop them comments, man. I appreciate all the support. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Big Money Bound TV, RRT Posse. Like I always say, I got it. All you got to do is drop the comments. What video would you like me to do? And, bro, I got you, man. I do this for this. This is fun. Because, you know, when I start having fun with it, I'll be done with it. Till next time, man. Y'all be easy. Falls up.